The Searle Effect Generator, conceptualized and developed by John Roy Robert Searle in the mid-20th century, remains one of the most intriguing and controversial inventions in the realm of alternative energy. Searle's work, beginning in 1946 at the age of 14, laid the groundwork for a device that challenges conventional understandings of electromagnetism and energy generation. The SEG is centered around the principles of delaying back electromotive force, Lenz's law, and harnessing the power of permanent magnets, leading to what Searle claimed to be a highly efficient and potentially revolutionary form of energy generation. John Searle's journey John Searle's journey began as a trainee at the Midland Electricity Board, MEB, in Birmingham, where he was involved in the production of permanent magnets used in energy meters and other electrical instruments. During this period, Searle had the unique opportunity to conduct his experiments, supported by the MEBS resources. It was in this environment that Searle developed his hypothesis regarding the movement of free electrons in spinning metal bodies. He speculated that due to inertial forces, these electrons might exhibit a radial movement, generating an electric potential difference between the center and periphery of a rotating object. In his early experiments, Searle measured the voltage in fast rotating steel shafts and slip rings made of brass. He observed a minute electric voltage in the radial direction, a discovery that, while subtle, suggested the potential for harnessing this effect to generate electricity. However, this initial generator had limited practical application, prompting Searle to explore ways to enhance its power output. The Role of Permanent Magnets At this juncture, Searle's work diverged from conventional electrical engineering. Rather than abandoning his experiments as mere academic curiosities, he delved into the use of permanent magnets, experimenting with various magnetic materials. These included alloys manufactured by Mullard UK and superior magnetic materials imported from the United States. Through trial and error, Searle discovered that these materials significantly improved the generator's performance. The manufacturing process for these permanent magnets was intricate. Searle utilized a mixture of magnetic powder and a bonding agent, which was then pressed into molds using a hydraulic press within a vacuum chamber. The curing process for these magnets could take up to three days, indicating the meticulous care Searle took in their production. The use of nylon, a thermoplastic with excess negative charges, further enhanced the magnetic properties, leading to the manifestation of what Searle later termed the Searle effect, the Searle effect in energy generation. The Searle effect refers to the phenomenon observed when the SEG operates, where it purportedly generates electricity while simultaneously producing a strong, self-sustaining magnetic field. The key to this effect lies in the configuration of the SEG, which consists of a series of concentric rings and rollers made from the specially manufactured permanent magnets. As these rollers move around the rings, they create a dynamic magnetic field that induces an electromotive force, EMF. One of the SEG's most fascinating aspects is its claimed ability to delay the back electromotive force, back EMF or lens force, that typically opposes the motion of generators. By delaying this force, the SEG can supposedly sustain its operation with minimal energy input, leading to what some have described as overunity, a situation where the output energy exceeds the input energy, a concept that defies the conventional laws of physics. The Magnetizing Equipment and Techniques To achieve the required magnetic properties for the SEG, Searle employed specialized magnetizing equipment. This included a coil initially intended for demagnetizing turbine and generator shafts, consisting of approximately 200 turns of heavy copper wire. The magnetizing current, supplied by a Westinghouse three-phase mercury rectifier, was set at 180 amperes, and the process involved manually switching the current on and off in cycles lasting several seconds. The result of this magnetizing process was a set of highly charged permanent magnets with unique properties that contributed to the Searle effect. These magnets, when arranged in the SEG's configuration, created the conditions necessary for the generator's claimed ability to produce continuous electrical energy without significant input.